Now let us take our discussion forward with the energy band diagram. Now in this energy band diagram we have discussed about what a valence band is, what a conduction band is. In case of silicon there is a gap between the valence band and conduction band. That means the electrons in the outermost energy shell should gain some energy to move from valence band to the conduction band and the amount of energy that these electrons should gain is denoted by Eg and this Eg is nothing but the band gap or the energy gap that is being required by the electrons so that they can jump from valence band to the conduction band and this particular area is called as the band gap. Now this is the case for silicon. Now if I talk about metals or I can say if I talk about conductors then in that, that case what happens? The valence band if I say this is the valence band and if I say this is the conduction band there is an overlapping between these two bands. That means I can say that electrons don't have to gain energy from so that they can move from valence band to the conduction band because these bands are already overlapping. So in case of metals the electrons can very easily move that is why metals are very good conductors of electricity. So this is the case for metals or I can say this is the case for conductors. Now if I take one more case that is the case of an insulator. If I draw a diagram for energy band diagram for an insulator in that case the gap between the valence band and the conduction band is very large. It is not easy to overcome this particular gap in case of insulators. Now the thing that you have to keep in your mind is that in case of silicon this band gap is of the value that means this energy, the energy that is being required by an electron to move from valence band to the conduction band, the value is 1.12 electron volts. This is the amount of energy that is being required by the silicon electron that is present in the outermost band to move from valence band to the conduction band it should acquire this amount of energy. So this is the energy gap or I can say the energy required by the silicon atom. And similarly for germanium the value of Eg is 0.67 electron volts. So you have to keep these two values in mind and generally in case of semiconductors the value of this Eg is smaller than 2 electron volts. So this is all about the energy band diagram of silicon. Now you have to keep in mind all these concepts related to valence band and conduction band.